Thanks for joining us here on the DenverChannel.com. 70s meteorologist Maureen McCann. 80s and 90s on the eastern plains yet again today, but a big contrast looking back to the west. And this should be the last of the heat that we see for the week at least. We did manage to get to 90 actually, an upgrade from that graphic you just saw. We managed to get to 90 here in Denver for day number 73. Now the changes are setting in. We saw the clouds come in first and notice the activity on the radar with the scattered showers that are in place over the mountains streaming up from the south and west. Got enough moisture to produce some downpours and enough energy to maybe trigger a few thunderstorms embedded in that as well. Now the rain could be heavy enough to prompt flash flooding, especially in the burn scar areas. We have a flash flood watch posted over El Paso and Teller counties because of that threat. And you also see on this map, you can see that blue shading along the uh, Sangre de Cristos, above 11,000 feet. That's where there could be measurable snow, enough to warrant a winter storm watch. But it's not going to be affecting any, everyone in that part of the state. Again, just above 11,000 feet is where we have the biggest threat. Lots of moisture appearing on the future cast. Bring this into motion. Notice that throughout the day on Wednesday, we continue to find that threat of rain with some heavier downpour, especially south of I-70, enough to maybe produce about a quarter to a half an inch of rain, if not more. Our latest computer model guidance, and this is a 24-hour chart, this shows that Wednesday some places maybe could exceed an inch as you go back to the foothills and mountains. The temperatures will be about 20 to 30 degrees cooler behind the system, though it really is the main feature, with 60 showing up with our front range forecast highs for your Wednesday and that will be followed by another cool day on Thursday. But in summer, your forecast and running for the overnight hours, 54 degrees, 60s for tomorrow, and we stay in the 60s right through the balance of uh, Thursday as well. We get into some changes back to warmer and drier weather by the weekend with 70s here by Friday and 80s Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good Tuesday.